Hello and welcome back, you beautiful weirdos. I hope you're having an amazing day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If you are new here, hi, I'm Marla Chris. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you consider subscribing if you like this kind of content. I am here twice a week, every week, with nail shenanigans and nonsense. So I had this vision, if you will, when I saw this gel topper that I wanted to do like a robin egg themed mani, especially because spring feels like it's so close and right around the corner. I know, I know, it's barely March, <laughs> but I am summoning spring. I am summoning and manifesting the spring energy. So we're gonna do a full pastel robin egg type mani. I'm using a lot of products from Revel Nail their dip powder, um, their liquids, their peel base, and everything will be linked in the box along with the gel topper that I found from Amazon. So you can go ahead and check that out. There are also discount codes for Revel Nail down in the box. It is an affiliate code. So if you use it, I appreciate you and thank you. And we're friends now. So I'm going right in with this first color. You did see me mix it up a good deal. I like to fluff up my powders before I dip. I just find that it makes the dip application much more smooth, less uneven, less bumpy, and that leads to less filing and trying to clean up the mess later. So I would highly recommend you mix up your powders pretty well before you dive right in. Okay, so I'm gonna get all these nails dipped out. I'm gonna show you one dip on each nail, but I do two coats total per nail. So springtime, I cannot wait. The winter has been long. And I know if you know me and you know where I am, I know you're cringing right now because I'm in Florida and did we get winter? Yes, we got like three days of winter. And by that, I mean the temperature was in the mid to high 30s for like three days. And I know, I know, I can see you cringing right now. <laughs> I would be too if I were still living in New York, which I did for a very long time. But I, do you hear that? It is pouring rain right now out of nowhere, which is weird because it's typically our dry season, but it's so nice to hear rain. My grass might turn green again. It's currently a beautiful state of brown. Anyway, I'm summoning spring. As the rain comes, that is just perfect timing. Did I actually just manifest that? I am powerful. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so spring is right around the corner and this is gonna sound absolutely insane, but what I am most looking forward to for spring and summer is storm season. I love Florida storm season so much, 98% of it. I'm not a fan of the monsoons that I have to drive through that pop up out of nowhere, but I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm a homebody. I, I go to the post office. I go to Target or Walmart once in a blue moon. I go to Starbucks sometimes. Other than that, I'm pretty much home and I adore storm season, especially those late night storms or very early morning storms that just barely wake you up. Best moments in life, waking up to a thunderstorm. I love it with my whole entire heart. Are you guys envisioning and manifesting spring too and what are you most excited about about spring into summer i would love to know and is that like your favorite season or are you like fall winter people <laughs> i again being a floridian i i don't really have a favorite season because we don't really have fall our palm fronds do not change colors <laughs> it just gets colder that's it but I am definitely a springtime junkie. I love everything about spring. You wanna hear some weirdness? <laughs> you guys know I'm like the biggest weirdo ever. I my, The things that turn me on in this world are just bizarre. But one of my favorite springtime things is the smell of rain on hot asphalt. <laughs> That's so weird. If the smell just turns me on, it does something to me. I don't know what it is. Grass too, like the smell of fresh cut grass that's getting rained on. I absolutely love it. And I'm highly allergic to literally everything. I'm allergic to Florida, but I don't care. I will take my Claritin or my Benadryl and just stuff my nose in all of these smells. I absolutely love it. Anyway, <laughs> shall we talk about nails or could we just talk about spring and smelling things and being weird because that's kind of more my jam at the moment um so i'm getting in with the last color on my thumbnail you guys know again with my weirdness i like to put my favorite color that i'm using on my thumbnail 
99.9% of the time. So I had to put this adorable blue on my thumbnail. Here it is in two coats. I love it so much with my whole entire heart. So I've gotten my two dips done. I'm gonna go ahead and activate. I usually do two coats of activator just for extra security when I go to file and buff. But if you feel like one coat of activator is adequate, stop at one. It really, for me, depends on how many dips I do and force of habit. I'm just so used to doing two coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two full coats of activator and then I'm gonna let it completely set and harden and dry down. It doesn't take very long. Revel's activator works fairly quickly. So it should be dry enough to encapsulate and file within about two minutes or so. While I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna mention real quick, I get so many questions about the ring on my thumbnail, my thumbnail, <laughs> my thumb, period. It is a fidget ring. I have a whole collection of fidget rings. I love them so much and they're all from Amazon. And if you check my Amazon storefront, down below in the description box, there is a category that says my favorite rings. And all the rings that you have ever seen me wear throughout life <laughs> are down there. So you can check them out. They are stainless steel. I have a silver allergy. I cannot wear it. It'll turn me colors in literally 2.2 seconds and make me all sorts of itchy. So I'm a stainless steel person. So if you like that kind of thing, definitely go check it out. Um, so I am encapsulating and I know this is another topic of conversation for a lot of you. I get so many questions about why I cap with gel and it is because it is easier <laughs> for me. It's just, I encapsulate with gel because it's idiot proof, foolproof, and it's very easy. And it doesn't add bulk to the nail like clear acrylic or clear dip powder can. So I prefer to encapsulate with gel if you have gel allergies or if you just don't like using gel, you can absolutely just use your clear dip powder. I did file and buff off camera, but I will leave my whole filing and buffing routine down in the box in case you wanna see it. Let's check out this eggshell gel topper. So my first impression of this eggshell gel topper is that it's pretty scarce. They're a little stingy with the eggshells, if I'm just being 100% honest. However, I absolutely would prefer to not have a lot of these eggshells on the nail at first and hand place them where I want them, which you will see me do here in a bit, than have an overabundance of the eggshell and have it be overwhelming. So am I the biggest fan? No, I'm not the biggest fan. Do I hate it? Also don't hate it. I'm kind of middle of the road. It worked out well for what I wanted to do and it does cure matte. When you take it out of the lamp, it does appear shiny, but as soon as you wipe it down, it becomes beautifully matte. Although I will put an additional matte top coat over top of this only because I could feel a little bit of texture where those eggshells were. And if you're a weirdo like me and you don't like texture on your nails, you're going to want to put a top coat over the topper. And it did not add bulk. There's no big hill at the back of my nail. They're not chunky or thick. So that didn't make a difference to me whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and place some of these glitters on the nail and then I'm going to top coat and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished look.
so here is the finished look. I'm kind of obsessed. I don't know if these remind me more of Robin Egg or some sort of an ice cream <laughs> but either way i'm i'm obsessed i love this set so much i think it's so perfect for manifesting your spring energy I'm just finishing up with some cuticle oil and we are good to go oh if you want a trick to cuticle oil nails with matte top coat take a little alcohol wipe off the oil from the matte nail and it's right back to matte i hope you guys found this helpful let me know down below how you feel about it Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Love you, bye.